That is the signal that is uh, sweeping across the amateur radio 80 meter band. It's uh, been doing it all morning this morning. This is Friday. Uh, this is Friday, February 5th. Had to check my uh, date there on the calendar. But uh, it's sweeping across the amateur radio band and interfering with uh, communications on that band. Also, the company that is running that device, uh, which is an RF heating unit, I understand. I was told by someone who knows where it is and who it is. But unfortunately, uh, the guy that told us about that has passed away. And I do not recall uh, where this is located or who this is. But it is a company that has an RF heating unit which is used to dry glue and plywood, I believe. He said it was years ago. It's been doing this for years. And he said that the people who are operating it leave the doors open sometimes. And, you know, if they do that, they are exposing themselves. The company employees are being exposed to very high levels of RF radiation, like comes out of a microwave and oh my gosh I mean I wonder what this does to the health of those employees maybe they will develop cancer or something later on so this is something that should be addressed it should be taken care of if there are seals on the door and the seals are not working properly then that should be addressed too they should look at that and fix that they should not have people operating this equipment with very strong radio frequency energy uh, coming out of that machine, whatever it is. Now, like I say, it's like uh, getting energy from a microwave oven. It's not good for you. So uh, that's why I'm making this uh, YouTube video. I'm hoping that somebody that knows something about this or works at this factory, wherever it is, will tell the management about the dangers of this device. So that's it guys, 73's and good DX.